welcome back everybody so we just got in the stand this is a new spot I haven't been to yet this week I um, did some scouting on this property uh, earlier in the day and I found a lot of good signs so we just got up here um, already I heard Zika splashing in the marsh uh, out in front of me here so we got a storm rolling in uh, it's already started the, the winds picked up and a little bit of rain here and there so Hoping we can stick it out and uh, hopefully get a hind on the ground tonight. Stay tuned. in Maryland uh, again going after some Sika deer this morning uh, went to our first spot that we wanted to go to this morning and uh, unfortunately somebody beat us there and uh, yeah I didn't really know where he set up so I just backed out went to a different piece so thankfully I had enough time to get here I haven't scouted this piece at all I just saw all the maps I came in here blind set up and uh on my walk in, I saw a lot of trails, a lot of signs, so it's, it's good. Um, so now we're just going to sit here and wait. Hopefully have a, uh, a Sika move through.
pretty cool. It's uh, mid-morning right now. About 10.30, almost 11. And uh, I was just getting ready to pack up. Long story short, the spot that I went to this morning, somebody beat me there and I didn't want to cut them off or anything. I didn't know where they were set up, so I went to a different spot. Well, I was running out of time. So this spot was close by and I ran in real quick, got set up. I'm really close. Obviously you can hear the cars. And uh, I wish I got a little bit farther back, but I was kind of sitting here thinking like, I don't know if these deer are gonna come in being this close to the road. So I, I gave it, it's until mid morning I started to pack up. As I'm packing up, I look over and there's a spike uh, stag coming in. Uh, he's probably at 40 yards. Um, definitely could have got a shot at him. Um, but as you guys already know, if you don't know, I already got a stag earlier in the week. So now it's hinds only. So, But that still got me shaking. That was, that was awesome. That was the longest I got to see one in person for. That's pretty cool. That was pretty sweet. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep sitting. See, see if we can see anything else. Well, it's day three, afternoon set. We just got set up. We're sitting in the same spot, just a couple trees over from where I sat last night, where we had all that activity. Um, right before dark, about 45 minutes. Before dark, till dark, it was the marsh just lit up with movement. Um, unfortunately, never laid my eyes on one, but I definitely heard them. They were they were right in front of me. But these uh, cactus are a little thick, so. But uh, we had a good morning. We saw two stags, so I'm hoping that uh, hoping that tonight is uh, just as good. Hopefully, uh, we can get a hind on the ground. Uh, sit tight and uh, enjoy the show. guys it's uh day four we're still at it uh didn't sit this morning had some stuff I had to get done but um as you can see we got our setup on our back we're walking into a different area today uh i scouted it out yesterday afternoon or midday and uh found a nice scrape and a rub and a decent amount of whitetail sign and Sika, uh, Sika sign. So, gonna sneak in there, the wind's perfect. 
We're going to be setting up right on the uh, edge of a uh, bedding area, like a very heavy, thick bedding area that leads out to open uh, oaks and pines. So, like I said, saw a lot of sign there yesterday. So we're hiking in now, a little early. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, I'm going to try to be in the stand and set up by 2, 2.15. So, got a good feeling. Hopefully we see something. Um, I just wanted to get this interview done real quick since uh, we're going to be in real close to the bedding. Like 20, 30 yards off the, off the line. So, Alright, well, wish us luck. See you guys in the tree. All right, guys, so we are back at the house. We are back home from Maryland. Um, we did, on my last day, I wound up sitting where I killed my Sika uh, stag on my first video that I posted. 
Um, unfortunately, I had some hunters move in on us uh, around 7.30 in the morning, making a bunch of noise and spooked a bunch of deer out of there. So, um, it is what it is. It's public land. It's, you know, it happens. So, anyway, I went up getting out of there, regrouping, and uh, I went back to where I saw that eight-pointer whitetail at um, the night before. Hunted that spot that night and uh, had a couple stags uh, bugling out in front of me, but never saw anything. Nothing came in. So, it is what it is. But um, overall, I really uh, enjoyed it. I had a good time. I learned a lot. Um, got to see a lot of new things. It's definitely a different, different type of hunting. And um, I can promise you guys, you're most likely be seeing more content of that in the future because uh, I definitely want to go back. I know Chris, uh, he wants to go back too. He, he did squeeze down there on the last day and uh, got um, you know two hunts in. He did see a hind, that was about it. But um, he definitely wants to do it again. So I know we'll most likely be back down there for more hunting so uh, like I said I learned a lot from this trip and uh, learned a lot from uh, the difficulties of self filming it cost me an opportunity at 8 pointer uh, it is what it is though um, that the year's just going to be bigger for next year so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, the Sika video part 1 uh, I'll make sure I drop a link in the description for that video as well also down in the description is going to be a link to Milo Outdoors Facebook page Give us a thumbs up, check it out, give us a like, and uh, feel free to you know post anything on there you want um, regarding hunting, hunting and stuff like that. I post uh, all my updates on when I'm posting videos and things like that. So be sure to check it out. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, as always, please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any uh, of these videos that are getting posted. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.